Eh, eh siyempre, sir, habang pinapag-usapan natin ang COVID, ECQ, bakuna, uh, in very intense scrutiny on the performance of the DOH to the point that kanina we saw uh, Secretary Duque really getting emotional and laying it bare. It is affecting him uh, as well as it understandably uh, would. But also to the point that President Duterte told him, wag mo kasing pansinin yung COA. And in fact, sinabi niya sa COA, tigilan niyo na nga yan, nanggugulo lang kayo. Your reaction, sir, to the President's words? Well, I think, uh, you know, uh, the President's words, uh, with due respect, is unwarranted because the COA is just performing its constitutional duty. Hmm. The duty to audit, uh, to scrutinize income and receipts of government as well as expenditures of government. Hmm. And this particular uh, annual report for 2020 is a mandate that every agency will have to be uh, uh, checked and uh, uh, COA will look into its activities and expenses. And so they are also obligated to come out with their report uh, every year, at the end of the year, there will be a report. And the report of COA, as stated by Chairman Mike Aguinaldo, it is a subject of, uh, you know, conferences with the agency, exit conferences, and so forth. So that is the annual uh, report. And so uh, uh, the, the president <laughs> would not be able to say that uh, COA should not make a report or uh, COA do not make a report or that uh, the agencies will not uh, mind that report. Well, sir, the, the president's statements were pretty uh, firm and uh, and uh, impassioned, uh, to say the least. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering what would be the effect or what could be the effect of the president's statements on, number one, on the commission on audit, and on number two, uh, the members of his cabinet, whom he told to just ignore uh, future core findings. Well, as far as the effect of his pronouncements to uh, the COA, it was clearly stated by Mike Aguinaldo, chairman, that they have to continue uh, to be able to examine accounts and to be able to, uh, to, uh, to report. And to, to the cabinet members, well, they all know that <laughs> the COA is independent from the executive department. These are constitutional commissions, independent and given specific functions under the Constitution and to look into uh, receipts, income, and expenditures of the yes, government. Sir. Yes, so, sir. But even the president should know that as well, right? I mean, the president's a lawyer, uh, but still he made a statement. Yes, uh, I and, mean, uh, I, I, I asked yeah. a question in, in that respect. Uh, uh, the, the cabinet secretary should know that, but the president should also know that. Uh, so, so in that sense, uh, <laughs> what, what, what do you foresee? <laughs> well, you know, the president always would, uh, you know, uh, he would uh, defend, of course, uh, his cabinet members, and uh, it is his thinking that uh, these are just all preliminaries. And so that is his opinion. But what, the Constitution stays solid and uh, effective. And the Constitution says that the COA is an independent constitutional body that really has to go into examination of all expenditures of government. And what consequences not to our cabinet members who actually follow the president's directive to ignore COA findings? Is there a criminal or administrative liability if you ignore Well, I don't... <laughs> used to explain to COA what happened in the Pondo, apart from a, a possible graft case, of course. Well, well uh, the president says that, but I'm sure that the, the cabinet would also know what the constitution provides and the powers of COA. And if they will ignore that, they are not able to answer. For example, if DOH will not answer the annual report and uh, it will not be able to explain uh, and to uh, be able to comply with the observations, this will turn into a notice of disallowance. And if the notice of disallowance is based on bad faith, is based on the fact that there was no, uh, no uh, uh, compliance with the procurement law, Ah, there can be, after notice uh, and procedure, then after notice of disallowance, it's a notice of charge, and then the ombudsman can bring the case to the ombudsman. So that is the well, effect. Man, if they will follow, yeah. if they will say, disregard the COA, my goodness. Mm -hmm. so, sir, is yeah. it, sir, by any chance, is there any middle ground here? Because the president says naman, that he is not stopping COA from uh, conducting its audit. He just doesn't want COA to be uh, 
making public its initial findings until a final report is done. Uh, legally, is there any middle ground uh, or should there even be a middle ground? No, uh, there is really a requirement for COA to come up with this annual uh, audit report. And it is, it should be finished, in fact, earlier. In fact, I'm some wondering why it came out in July, because December 30th, mm -hmm. uh, about mm. seven months ago. So uh, it's really because they're so busy, the COA. So that is why that we are, what we're saying is that it is a public document. It is in the website. Everybody can access this report. It's just that everybody looks into this because it's, it's, uh, it's 67.3 billion.